percentages without a calculator. Percent means out of 100. So 10% means 10 over 100. Percent is a fraction where the bottom number would always be 100. So if we look at these fractions, this would convert to decimals 0 0.02, the next 0 0.13, the next 0 0.25, and so on. Then if we transferred them into percentages, that would be 2%, 13%, 25%, and 85%. I hope you can see the pattern there. So basics without a calculator, you need to know what 100% is, obviously the whole number, and then 50%, so you would half that. To find 10%, you would divide the number by 10. To find 5%, you would half this number. And if you were looking to find 1%, you'd divide the whole number by 100. Let's find 15% of 300. So 100% is 300, that's our figure. So what we need to do now is find 15. So first we're going to find 10. We're going to move the decimal and divide the number by 10, giving us 30. So 10% is 30. Then to find 5%, we're going to cut 30 in half, which is 15. So 30 plus 15 is 45. So 15% 15 of 300, nice and easy is 45. Find 25% 25 of 160. So we know our 100% is 160. If we half that, we're going to find out what 50% is, which is 80. And then to find 10%, we're going to divide it 160 by 10, giving us 16. And half of that is 8. That gives us our 5%. So we can add our 10%, 10% and 5%, which would be 16, 16 and 8, giving us 40. Or we could do a short division. 4s into 1 do not go. You carry the 1 over to the next. That's 16. 4s into 16 go 4 times. And then 4s into 0 don't go, so you would pop up the 0. So 4s into 160 goes 40. Finding 25% of 160, hopefully you would have seen there's a quicker route to this. 50% is 80, so therefore we're going to halve 50%, but it takes us straight to 40. So 25% of 160 is 40. Always shortcuts. If you get a question like this, the zeros can cancel each other out, and we simply do multiplication. Two times 12 equals 24. 20% 20 of 120 is 24. So let's try another. 40% of 70. Cancel out the zeros. 4 multiplied by 7 is 28. 40% of 70 equals 28. 